Hi Girl Scouts, Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part four of four for the Senior Think Like an Engineer journey. Today we will be discussing how we can take the three design challenges that we did and use them as inspiration for a take action project. But first, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So if this is your first journey you have ever completed, we need to talk about what is a take action project. You might have heard of a take action project before, and you also might have heard of something called a community service project. And so those two things have a lot in common, but they differ from each other in a few um, ways. So a community service project makes the world a better place by addressing a problem right now. So that could be like collecting um, canned food for a food drive. A take action project, which is what we will be working on, um, makes the world better by coming up with a solution that is sustainable. And that means that the problem continues to be addressed even after the project is over. So developing a sustainable solution is key, is the key difference between community service and a take action project. There are a few steps. There are a couple steps that we're going to break down um, when it comes to um, addressing a, or coming up with a take action project when doing a take action project. So first we are going to identify a problem then we will research the root cause of the problem. Next, we come up with a sustainable solution, followed by developing a team plan, putting the plan to action, and then finally we reflect on what um, worked and what didn't work. So those are the broad steps of doing a take action project. And when we are coming up with a sustainable solution, sometimes um, that's a hard one to address. You know, what does, what does a sustainable project look like? You know, we know it continues to do good after we have um, finished it, but how can we achieve that? Um, so there are three ways to create um, sustainable change with your take action project. Uh, the first one is make the solution permanent. The second one is educate and inspire others to be a part of the change. And the third way to create sustainable change is to change a rule, regulation, or law. So those might be some ways that you can do your take action project. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's look at an example of a take action project. So maybe you notice that there is trash at your local park. So you would like to do something about that. A great example of community service would be going to the park one day and picking up the trash. It's great community service because it solves the problem for that day. But when you come back the next day, there might be more trash that needs to get picked up. So how can we turn that into a take action project? Well, you gotta figure out what's causing this. We gotta uh, figure out the root cause of the problem. So maybe you do a walkthrough of the park and understand what's going on. Um, how far did you walk to find the trash can? Was it easy to find the trash can? Um, maybe you talk to people that work at the park or other people that visit the park. Um, why do they think that the trash is a problem? Do they understand why it's important to throw away our trash in um, proper receptacles? Or um, do they uh, do they think that littering is okay? So that is where you are doing some research, you are doing some investigating, and you are figuring out the cause of the problem that you are trying to address. And once you land on a cause that you feel like you can um, create a solution to, that is where your take action project is 
board. So moving on from that, next we have our problem, we have our root cause, then you go into how can I take action. So what you have to do is, or what a great, way, uh, a great idea to do is take inventory of you yourself as a person and what am I good at? Am I good at public speaking? Am I good at writing articles? Am I good at, you know, drawing and animation? If you take inventory of what you are good at, that is a great place to start for a project idea for how you can um, address the problem. So if you know that you are really good at you know, writing, well then maybe you make a press release or you release something to your newspaper to be published that other people can read. If you are very comfortable speaking um, in front of people or uh, having people watch you speak, maybe you create some sort of public service announcement that can um, be posted online. So this is where you can really um, make your project unique by pulling in and pulling uh, and um, relying on your personal skills as a Girl Scout. So you got your problem, you got your cause, how are, you have your ideas for how you're going to address it, and then we come up with our team. So um, right now, if you're watching this in 2020, maybe that is the people um, that you are living with. Um, maybe you have access to you know, virtually talk to the rest of your troop. And so maybe that uh, your troop can still be part of your team and you can do this whole project as a troop. And that's awesome. But you need to do, you need to figure out who who's going to work with you. Who can you rely on for this? And then you start planning, start doing and working on your take action project. And then you after you complete it, you should reflect on it and then you are good to go. Um, so with this whole journey that we have been taking, the Think Like an Engineer journey, journey um, we have been learning about engineering. And you might have heard this um, acronym before. Um, engineering is part of a big group of subjects called STEM. So STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we were focusing on the E in STEM. And so my challenge to you is make a take action project that has something to do with STEM or with engineering. Maybe it's raising um, awareness about engineering or you know increasing enthusiasm about engineering, um, getting more people your age um, interested and excited about it. But that is my challenge for you. And then if you are still thinking, well, gee, you know, I don't even know where to begin. You know, we're stuck in our houses. If you're watching this in 2020, um, here is my wisdom, um, my question, my insight for you. Um, if you're watching this in 2020, your life um, probably looks a little different than it used to right now. Um, maybe you went to school and you had a big class and you, you know, saw different people every single day and you had that um, as a very regular part of your life and now your life is completely different. Maybe now you are going to school at home and you uh, don't have a lot of opportunities to get out and see people around you um, that you normally would. So my challenge for you is what is something about your daily life in, you know, in school, in sports, in your extracurricular activities? Is there something that you miss about that, that you could try to recreate, re-engineer to be part of your life 
at home? And then is that something that you can share with the rest of your troop, with the rest of your classmates? Is that something that you can share with them and show them how to recreate that and how to engineer that on their own? So that is my challenge for you, should you choose to accept it. Um, I wanna thank you all so much for following along with me on this journey. I had a lot of fun. Um, I got frustrated sometimes when I was trying to build. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Um, but thank you, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, um, if you have questions, comments, um, if you have any pictures, of your design challenges or you working on your take action projects please go back to um, the Girl Scouts Lakes and Pines Facebook page find the Think Like an Engineer event and please post those um, for me to see and for other people to see it is so fun seeing all of your pictures it's so fun reading all of your comments it really brightens my day um, it makes me feel like we're not as alone as we actually feel so again, thank you so much. And I um, bid you the best of luck as you go out and venture on to your take action projects. Bye Girl Scouts.